In this video, I'm going to give you the most dynamic offense in Madden 23. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. With that said, let's get into it. These are four of the absolute best offensive formations in this year's game. Now I'm going to show you how you can combine all of them to build the most dynamic offense in Madden 23. And we're going to do this by showing you a mini scheme out of our brand new Detroit Lions offensive ebook on winmadden.com. And what makes the Detroit Lions offense so good that again it has access to all four of those formations that we mentioned are some of the best in the game. But what makes it even better? If you come out of the huddle in any of those four formations and hit the X button on Xbox, the square button on PlayStation to bring up the audible menu, you can quickly hit the D-pad to the left or to the right, and all four of these formations are right next to each other, allowing us to quickly audible to any of them immediately when we break the huddle. And now I'm gonna give you a four play mini scheme that you can implement right away to start destroying your opponent. And if you want the full scheme, head over to winmadden.com and check out our brand new Detroit Lions offensive ebook today. And we're gonna get started with the formation, gun bunch, and the play Bunch Trail. Bunch Trail is one of the best man-beating plays in all of Madden 23. Now the first thing I want you to notice is I personally like to come out in bunch as my main formation and then I will audible to the other three formations continually throughout the game. But the first thing you need to notice is we're running short side bunch. And what I mean by that is the ball is on the right hash mark and our bunch is on the right side of the field. So the bunch is to the short side of the field. And that is key because when we audible to the other formations, you will notice that the formations that we audible to are now perfectly set up in the proper spot to actually run those formations well. So first and foremost on a bunch trail, our setup is gonna be very simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna streak our B receiver, and if we have the opportunity, if we have Hot Route Master on our quarterback or outside apprentice on our X receiver, we're gonna put him on a C route. Now, if you don't have that, uh, there are a couple different options I would like you to consider. First of all, you could just put them on a streak, or you can also put them on a drag or something like that as well. But since we have Hot Route Master, we're going to put them on a C route. Now, we're going up against Cover 2 Man, and you're going to see a press animation in any type of Cover 2 Man. And when you see a press animation, you're going to notice that our RB receiver is going to beat press every single time. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, you, is the, you have the option to just block the running back whenever you want here, but we're going to snap this football. I'm going to hang on to it as long as possible so I might get sacked, but you're going to see that this RB receiver will beat the press. We throw a high ball to him, and we're going to complete that for huge yards against man coverage every single time, especially against man press. Now, when they run some type of defense that's man, like a cover one here, and they play backed off coverage and they shade over the top, then that RB route is actually not gonna get nearly as open. But we're gonna set up the play exactly the same anyway. We're gonna put B on a streak, we're gonna put our X receiver on a C route, and we'll block our running back. Now, when they play over the top, shaded over the top man coverage, and they don't press, you're gonna look to this RB receiver right away. If he doesn't get pressed, you know they're gonna be shading over the top. Our C route on the left with our X receiver is gonna get wide open, and our A route to our tight end will also get wide open. So again, we're gonna snap this football. I'll hang on to it as long as possible here. You'll see that the C route will win. We throw a high ball to him, and we complete that to the sideline for a huge gain, again, against man coverage. The next play that we're gonna take a look at is out of the formation gun tight, and it's the play PA slot cross. And now we're gonna audible to PA slot cross. And again, this is just one click to the right from gun bunch, and this is already built into our audible audibles for a quick and easy audible that we can make very fast and we can actually come out and quick snap this play. We aren't going to make any adjustments to this play and you're going to notice that this play is going to destroy cover to man, it's going to destroy any type of man press and it's gonna be one of the best cover two beaters in all of Madden 23. So first I'm gonna show this again against cover two man that we just talked about out of the play bunch trail. And we're just gonna snap this football. And you're gonna notice that we're gonna get lots of people wide open on this play and we're gonna destroy man coverage for even a potential one play touchdown even when they have two deep safeties on the field. But if we go into instant replay and we just take a look at this, again, we aren't making any adjustments. We can just snap this ball as fast as possible. If they come out and try to press us, you're gonna see that this is gonna be an easy win to the outside for an easy high ball and we can rack it up the field for huge yards. But this tight end route, 
when we run this again, quick audible, this again is going to be run to the short side of the field, is going to burn his man and is going to split the safeties right down the middle. And we're just going to be able to highball this down the middle for a huge gain, potentially a one play score. And if that wasn't good enough, this crossing route also just destroys man coverage. You can see he just leaves his guy in the dirt, confuses him completely. He buys, he actually bought the play action there and he was left wide open across the right side of the field for a huge gain. Now again, that's cover two man. Well, it's audible to just a cover two defense, just a, a blanket, easy cover two zone. And again, we're just gonna quickly audible to PA slot cross. It's one click over. And as soon as, as soon as this play is set up, we can just snap the ball. We don't need to make any adjustments. And we're gonna actually see the same thing where we can either throw to B, we could throw to A. We had lots of people wide open. And again, huge play potential with the play PA slot cross. Next, we're gonna take a look at the formation gun bunch tight end in the play X spot. X spot is one of my favorite plays to go to when our opponent likes to run a lot of cover three defense. So if we take a look at our opponent switching to a cover three, again, we're going to come out in bunch every time. And then we're going to quickly audible one to the left this time. And we're going to see X spot sitting there. Now X spot, just when you come out, looks like this. We're going to make one quick adjustment and we can snap the football. All we're going to do is we're going to put our X receiver on a fade route. Again, I want it to be a fade route, not a streak. When we put them on a fade route, even though we are on the right hash mark and our bunch is to the left side of the field, we have the very rare ability in this game to snap this football and be able to throw a corner out to the wide side of the field without motioning anybody out. This gives us a huge advantage to be able to quickly audible to this play and throw a corner out for an easy 20, 25 yard gain against the cover three defense. Now, because we put this receiver on a fade route, he draws the attention of the outside third on the wide side of the field here, and the outside third ignores our corner route and we're able to easily throw this for a huge gain against cover three. Now this will work against the cover two defense as well. If our opponent's sitting in a cover two zone, we quickly audible to X spot. We do the exact same thing. We can put X on a fade route. We snap this football as quickly as possible after that. And you notice that we've got Y for a huge gain up the sideline against cover two and cover three zone defense. The final play that we're gonna take a look at is out of the formation gun trips tight end and it's the play PA slot corner. Now our final play PA slot corner is one of the best kind of everything beaters or universal beaters in all of Madden 23. So what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna audible from bunch two clicks to the left this time and we're gonna go to the play PA slot corner. Now this play stock looks like this. The only adjustment that we're gonna make is we're gonna put our Y receiver on a streak. Now, once we do that, this play can beat most defensive coverages in the game. We're gonna start by looking at cover two man with two deep safeties over the top. So we're gonna snap this football and you're gonna notice that the B receiver is gonna win and we're gonna throw this to the outside for a huge gain against cover two man. Now, the same thing that is gonna, is gonna be true against any type of man defense. So again, if we go to cover one, we audible to this play, we will be confident that that corner route by our B receiver, if they have short in elite at that position, will beat man coverage. So again, we snap this football, we're gonna stand tall in the pocket, that B receiver, if we pass lead it to the outside, should be able to complete that for a really nice gain against man. But what makes this play even better is it also beats any type of zone defense that doesn't match in the game. So if we go to a cover three, for example, here's a cover three defense, we audible to PA slot corner, we quickly set up our play by just putting our Y receiver on a streak and we're good to go. This will now beat cover three as well. We're gonna have our Y receiver push the deep safety on the left deep and we're able to complete this to the sideline for an easy gain against cover three. Now the same thing will happen against cover two. So again, we go to a cover two defense here. We audible to PA slot corner quick audible, nothing different here. This corner route is going to torch. And if they happen to adjust to that, or they put some type of 
uh, deep zone over there or they just go user that corner out you always have check downs on other parts of the field as well so if we snap this football you're gonna notice that we've got this x receiver running free underneath or again we've got this huge gain to the sideline if we get our feet in bounds against cover two zone PA slot corner, one of the best universal beaters in Madden 23. And if you like this video, I know you'll like this one where I give you the top five one play touchdowns in Madden 23.